All right, thank you for staying with us. President Bola Tinubu has assured Nigerians that his administration is still committed to improving the education sector as he had promised in the Renewed Hope Agenda. According to the president, his administration has been interfacing with critical stakeholders in the education sector to share ideas, appreciate frontiers, and provide necessary support for the nation's sector. Now, the president also noted that the government alone cannot handle the educational system without the support of all the unions. He charged the unions to avoid a strike of any form that might ground the academic system, <clears throat> noting that if the academic system was hit free, it would easily compete with other educational systems all over the world. Well, joining us via Zoom is a vice chancellor of Federal University Oye Kiti State, Oye Kiti, Kiti State, Professor Abayomi Sunday Fashino. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. And it's good to have you join us this morning. Now, let's thank begin you. from uh, the release of uh, the secondary school pupils of Montessori Nursery and Primary School, where the teachers and the pupils that were abducted were released. Unfortunately, the driver was said to have been killed. Yes, let's get your reaction to this release, first of all. I think the most important thing that uh, is only God that can secure all of us, but um, the government uh, should try as much as possible to, to clear the forest. And I can say this categorically that it will solve two problems. Number one, it will create jobs. Number two, of course, reduce, of course, increase the traffic along all the routes where we have the forest. And then, of course, generate IGR into the country. Uh, in other countries of the world, in other climes, you, you see, if you have been to so many countries of the more than 43, more than 50, and where they practice agriculture, forests are cleared and lands are cultivated. And the people around this area are used as people to work on the farm. And when you have that, there'll be a lot of traffic along that route. And the forest, once the forest is clear, you can see visibility will be clear. You can see even from, from on ground, not even from the air. So I think government should, uh, for us in the university, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying as much as possible to be relevant to our economy, to be relevant to our community. No country, no university is static. You must be sensitive to environment. If you are sent to the environment, what happened after that is the fact that you played the role in that economy that you are supposed to play as an institution. And I think government should partner with people who are technocrats uh, in the area of security, in the area of economy, in the area of agriculture. And I think some of us, what, that's what we are doing, my university is doing in Kitty State. We are trying to be relevant. We are taking count to town. And we are trying to be relevant in all sectors of the economy of the state. As I'm talking to you, our own part-time program is in about nine times trying to be relevant to take down to town. Number two is the fact that we believe that we have a role to play in the state, trying to make people to be happy. And that's what we're trying to do. So for, for the, those people, we thank God that these children are back. Mm. Uh, but most importantly, we should try to put in place what yeah. we have had future problems. Prof, that, yeah. that's my own thinking. Yeah, thank you very much, Prof. Uh, because of our time, we need to raise this interview with you. But then, you know, we, uh, the president disclosed that his government is committed to revamping the education sector, so, so much so that the budget for the education is $2.18 trillion uh, for, uh, for this appropriation bill uh, act, rather, as against the 80%, I mean, more than 80% higher than the previous uh, budget allocation, which is 1.29 uh, trillion naira. I mean, uh, 1.29 trillion naira, yeah. So what do you think, how far reaching do you think this would go in revamping the education sector? In Nigeria, very quickly. Now, let me say this. I want to commend the President Bola Ahmed Tirumbu. Uh, he has started excellently well. I tell the Minister of Education that he appointed is the right person to be there. He's a technocrat, he's one of us, he's a former, he's a former vice chancellor. And I'm very happy about that. And he has started doing excellently well. He has started doing partnering with all the, you know, the stakeholders, and we are getting results. It's not about the money that the pump in, it's about, it's about implementation. And Professor Tahi, Mama, he has got it right. He has met the vice chancellors, he has met the unions, and we are moving very well in the right track. And I can tell you that in our own area, we will try to contribute our own quota. Uh, there are so many things they have put in place. Let me start from the fact that we are removed from IP, from the Integrated Payroll Personal Information System. That was a very fantastic one. 
if you allow the university to operate in a fantastic way without any hindrance. Number two is about the course. What you, whether you like the university has its own peculiarities in terms of the way we run. You cannot be comparing the university with the public sector, as well as the civil service. And for him to have taken out of IPs, it's going to go a long way to solve a lot of problems in the university. It's a tradition. You guys have a culture and tradition. And once he has to stop back, he has to move off from IPs, of course, we have retained back our autonomy and things will be able to move. Not only that, you can see the ways moving in other sectors of the education. Look at what happened of late. Some people went and got degree from the uh, Republic, and of course, they were, they, were, they were discovered. And the action was taken immediately just to tell you that this present administration meant so well for education, and they are moving towards that direction. And that is what we are trying to do as a university to partner with government also to make sure that the dream of taking education higher will be. Let, let me say this. Uh, I don't believe that Nigerian education uh, is going down. We train the best doctors, the best engineers, the best lawyers for other countries of the world. Capital flight. And people mm -hmm. are taking them. They are not rejecting them. Right. But the problem is that when people say they jackpot, they will jackpot because they believe that the environment is not. But for me, those people that jackpot will come back home. All right. And I will tell you why. Okay. Uh, let, let, me, let, me just say, let me just say this point. The point is that what happened to Ghanaians who came to Nigeria several years ago, they eventually come back to their country. These people come back to Nigeria. Okay. You know, that, that's my thinking. You know, so when we make the environment to the condition. Okay. Now let's quickly touch on the matter of uh, the convocation ceremony coming up uh, this week. Uh, give us a sense of the lineup of activities, what we should expect, the number of uh, graduates uh, that we'll, we'll be expecting and all of that, especially those in the first class uh, uh, region. Just give us a sense of what, uh, what, the, what to expect with regards to the activities to mark that convocation. Yeah, well, basically this, um, starting from today, we have a press conference. Um, after the press conference, we uh, have the tomorrow commissioning of projects. On, on Wednesday, medical outreach to some towns in the Kitty State to make ourselves relevant in terms of medics. On Thursday, we are going to have a foundation day speech or lecture to deliver by an erudite scholar who has already the identical Vice Chancellor of Federal University of Technology, Futa. On Friday, we are going to have our award night. On Saturday, is going to be the grand finale. Well, we are going to have honorary causa to three notable Nigerians, uh, Senator Michael Okwen Bamidele, Senator Adiola Solomon, and they also, also Honorable Gachi. So all these people are going to be honored for because of their contribution to the development of this country. Uh, for the, we are coming to the number of graduates. One of 14 students, we are graduating 6,563 students are graduates. Out of this, 114 of them are in the first class. Mm. 114 are in the first class. Uh, and I can tell you that what is simply that, and if I give you the statistics, you will know that we have, we have, we have done what it is. 114 in the first class, 2,763, 62, second class upper. 2,793, second class lower. 688 third class. We also graduate some programmatic students. 36 PhD students. 163 MSc students, total 406 other students. So total, 6,563 students are graduating on Saturday. Mm, that's right. So, so uh, you know, it's, it's very good to have Nigerians who, I mean, students who are getting back into the favor markets, you know, so we like to use that colloquialism to describe the way it is, you know, for people, for students to be able to em get employed after leaving school. But are there rewards for those who, you know, came out first class, for instance, you know, because we see how uh, they have been treated in, you know, over the years, but some make more money in music, in other things that are not really contributing to the growth of this country, you know, directly or indirectly, way, one way. But so what, what are the benefits for those who struggle to make first class, for instance? Now, let, let me say, <clears throat> sorry, we are put in place what we call the graduate training system, where... We want to as much as possible to retain our first class graduates. And then, of course, we have a system now we call Career Services Center Unit, we have created. And the idea is to create room for employability. So, what we are going to do is to retain as much as possible as many of our best first class students mm. to train them. That was the practice in the past. We don't want them to go. We will train them locally. We're not going to allow anybody to go overseas. We train them locally. If there's a need for them to go for bench work, they will go. And then they will be with us. 
the confidence will occur. We are going to train them. We have the food the materials that to train the women and capital resources. They are here. We will train them here to the best. So we are going to rate, probably take two or one from each department to be able to retain there to make sure that uh, we, the, the, the system continues in the way. Because they are part of the system, they have been properly trained. You know, in those days, when I went to UI, I was a former student in UI. I, of course, some of our colleagues who made for class were retained. I'm talking about the eighties, and that's it. some of us who are not retained, we went to other universities, and today we are what we are. So for me, that is the system we want to start adopting now to retain some of our graduates, the best graduates. Not only even two uh, first class, even two one people make second class over. You know, some department may not have first class, so if you have very good two one that are good, we may likely retain them. Because a lot of our colleagues have got back, they've, they've gone. So we need to fill those vacancies. Right. The package must be very attractive to retain them because, as it is, a majority of persons are willing to jack back as it is. No, it's not, it's not about money. It's about passion. Mm. And I will tell you why. We are going to put in a very good incentive for, for them that they will not even think of jack back. And I will tell you, let me give you an example. Mm. Somebody who's entitled to go travel twice a year for a dog. Or master's program is going to go somewhere for 12 months and it will come back. So, I mean, what, what is in on air that is not here in Nigeria is because of the environment we're talking about. Right. But we are going to make this environment to be conducive. I can tell you that because they want to give back to where they have also taken. And it's a pride. So we bring it to them culture of passion, to have passion, commitment, to be able to give back to where they have as an alumni. Most of the lecturers right. in Unilag, in UI, are former students of that university, and they are proud. For, look at, for example, in my own set, we are, we are trying to celebrate 40 years after graduation in UI. And let me tell you, all of us, three of us were former vice chancellors. I'm a vice chancellor. Two of them are former vice chancellors. And we are, we are pulling ourselves before together to give back to that university. Okay? So these are some of the things. We, we are, all of us have to come together to, to discourage people from going out of the country. It's oh. not about money. Right. It's about commitment. It's about passion. And I think we need to do that. This is our country. We have no other country. Mm. And the only way to make it better is for us to stay here. And those people we are going to meet up there, they develop their own country. They are not going to other country, and they make it better. So all of us should come together, and that's what I make Balatinu is trying to do, our all president. Right. And I think we should support him to do that. That's right. That's a fine place to leave the conversation this morning. Vice Chancellor of Federal University Oye Kiti, Kiti State, Professor Abayami Sunday Fashino. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. God bless you. And you too.